Lazio have made contact with Plymouth Argyle in a bid to sign Morgan Whitaker, according to reports. The Serie A side are eager to sign a winger before this week's transfer deadline. Sunderland's Jack Clark has also been on their radar, with the Black Cats knocking back a £15 million bid. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Maurizio Sarri's side have now turned their attention towards Argyle star Whitaker. He claims that Lazio have outlined their initial proposal to sign the 23-year-old. Argyle are determined to keep hold of their number 10, but could see their resolve tested by Lazio in the next 48 hours. Read more in FOOTBALLCRUEL Taunt English Club Facing Extinction After Losing Six First Team Players in a WEEKGUN Two Soon Forgotten Arsenal Wonder Kid Called the New Sesc Fabregas Joins 11th Club The Italian side is still in the Champions League and face Bayern Munich in the round of 16 in a fortnight's time. Whitaker initially joined Argyle on loan from Swansea during the first half of last season. He was recalled by the Swans in January, only to rarely feature during the second half of the campaign. The Pilgrims brought him back to home park in a club record £1 million deal last summer, handing him a four-year deal. Most read in football Rashford's bender drunk Rashford invited me on wild night out. I had to put him to bed drinking all day. Downing tequila calling in sick, inside Marcus Rashford's 12 hours bender rash call Man United says Rashford has taken responsibility over partying missing training hitting back walker calls in lawyers after Lauren claims they were in, loving, relationship casino special best casino welcome offers they would now stand to make a huge profit should he move to Italy. Whitaker has scored 15 goals in 28 championship appearances from the flank this season. He is only behind Blackburn's Sammy Smodix in the race for the second tier's golden boot. Amid rumours linking him away from home park, Whitaker was handed the captain's armband for his side's 3-1 win over Cardiff earlier this month. At the time, boss Ian Foster said, Morgan is part of the leadership group. The personnel I picked for today, he was the outstanding candidate. Players lead in different ways, and Morgan this season has led by example in terms of his performances so I had no qualms about giving him the captaincy. I thought he performed well with it. On the transfer speculation surrounding Whitaker, Foster added at the time, no one has made an offer for Morgan. Morgan is loving his time here, and that's very important. H is a big part of the culture of the group. H is playing particularly well and in my view I would encourage him to continue doing that. He doesn't take his eye off the ball, he hasn't changed from the kid I knew when he was 17 years of age.
H is just the same Morgan. He has always had talent and he will continue to develop under myself. That's my challenge, to make him the best he can be. We are not encouraging any bids, we are not looking for him to go and the boy doesn't want to go. Argyle have already been decimated during the last six weeks. In December their manager Stephen Schumacher left to take charge at Stoke, following Alex Neal's dismissal. Schumacher took lonely Luke Kundal with him, with Wolves recalling him from home park and sending him to the Potteries. Finn Azaz was then recalled by Aston Villa and sold to Middlesbrough for £2.5 million, with Kane Kessler Hayden also being sent back to the Midlands club and Lewis Warrington returning to Everton. New boss Foster has been busy in the window, signing Ashley Phillips and Alfie Devine on loan from Tottenham, and Darko Gyabi from Leeds. Read more Sun Storiesinner -E -E Steal the traitors Harry on burning desire that drove him to victory £95,000 prize No kidding Catherine Ryan reveals heartbreaking reason shed let daughter do love island He has also brought in Matty Sorinola and Adam Forshaw on permanent deals Argyle sit 15th in the championship table, 8 points above the relegation zone